tithe could not deny. We're headed back into the heart of Arkhan's empire. And you're singing. What better time? Anyway, where we're going, no one will be looking for criminals. Most of the people there are criminals, which of course presents its own dangers. Even so, I do enjoy visiting the old world. It's a piece of the cool history. Valkorian's first attempt at creating a grand society. A failed attempt. Only in scale. To him, it wasn't nearly grand enough. I want to know more about your relationship with Valkorian. The story really isn't as outlandish as whatever you're imagining. We met after I earned a place in his elite guard. I never hesitated to speak my mind, which caught his attention, I suppose. He was fascinating. Bold. Always completely certain of his next step. If I were describing you, I'd say the same things. You're flattering me. But yes, somehow we had a fair bit in common. What we had wasn't a child's notion of romance. But we were happy. Then Arkin and his brother Saxon were born. I loved them so much. But no matter what I did, they wanted nothing to do with me. And Valkorian wanted nothing to do with them. His mind was somewhere else. He barely spoke. Barely acknowledged any of us for weeks at a time. And then, Valen. Valen was troubled from the start. And was she really dangerous, even as a child? She made furniture move while she was still in the womb tore droids apart as a toddler. Once a guard dropped a ball she tossed, Valen crippled him. I confronted Valkorian. His daughter needed help. His sons needed him. His solution was to cage Valen's mind. Most of her power was locked away, along with most of who she was. He ignored the rest of us outright. I couldn't stand by and watch. I gathered the children. I tried to tell them we needed to go. They laughed and called me weak. Even as children, even with Valen's power restraint, the three of them together were still far more powerful than me. I couldn't force them to go. So, I left. Did Valkorion try to stop you from leaving? No. I'm not sure he even noticed. I transferred to the Knight's Enforcement Division and took assignments at the outer fringes of our empire. Valkoria never spoke another word to me. Since then, I've only seen my children in broadcasts of public events, like Thexen's funeral, killed in the Core Worlds. I doubt they even remember me. Hello, little one. I want updates, not chatter. The Lady of Sorrows is wanted for murder and theft of state secrets, among other charges. The Knights have hunted her for years. No one's come close. I'm sure the three of us will manage if we work together. You may not believe this, but it's rare for someone to escape a Knight's justice. And when that someone is the Knight's own child? We'll find out. Won't we? Could I... Is it possible for me to talk to him? To Valkorian? I don't think it works that way exactly. Lots of things live down here. Few of them friendly. We should be careful. <laughs> 